Well, hey, y'all, what a day. I've been filming all day, and I still had this little hot plate over here, and I was hungry, and my guys already took some stuff out to the tractor, so they're fine, so I just got me to try to feed. I want a grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm just gonna show you how I make a grilled cheese sandwich, and we're gonna, we're just gonna talk. As the kids say, we're going to, what is it they say? We're gonna be low, we're gonna low key talk around here. I don't even know what that means. I'm not hip anymore. But anyway, I was wanting a grilled cheese sandwich and I thought, well, I might as well just make one with my friends. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And this, this little griddle right here, this little flat skillet, my mama, if she was still here, would be 98. This was her grandmother's. And so it doesn't have Griswold on the back of it or anything. It's got a number eight right here. And on the bottom, it's got that line. Uh, it's got that circle that keeps it on top of the wood stove, but it's got that line. So, I mean, this thing right here is ancient. Okay. Let's see here. And sometimes me and this hot plate go round and around. But I was going to tell y'all just a, a, a little bit about when I was growing up. My mama was the best short order cook in the world. You know, she'd get up and fix daddy breakfast and then he'd go off to the farm. He was never there whenever I woke up because he, he was already, because the dirt wasn't there if daddy wasn't there. And so she would get him all fixed up and get him off. And then so when I get up, I'm really not that spoilt. My husband would disagree. But, uh, you know, for breakfast, uh, she usually, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. She would have uh, always had an option. I could have um, cinnamon toast or French toast or let's see, what else does she make? Sometimes she would make me some beignets if I wanted a beignet. <laughs> I'm glad my kids never wanted a beignet. <laughs> Mercy me. So, I'm going to turn this down whenever I get this butter. Now, I like to butter both sides of my bread. And I have tried, I'm going to crank that off a little bit. I have tried using the uh, mayonnaise. And I've tried that like three or four times, y'all. I have heartburn. It gives, it gives, it like it kills me. I can't even do it. And I like, I want to do that because I think it's kind of cool. You're just kind of saving a step. But anyway, well, let's just let this brown right here and you know mother was a very wonderful ceo of her home and her kitchen she had a list on her repertoire of, of foods that she could cook at a moment's notice and we did the uh tuna croquettes that's almost ready there we did the tuna croquettes that was kind of a fast food around our house and then um oh gosh what else did she do that was fast frying pork chops Lickety split, you got pork chops fried. We had a bowl, daddy had a bowl of slaw because at that point in my life, I didn't care for slaw. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, we'll turn that over, that's fine. So daddy would have about a cup of slaw with every meal. Now we always had dinner, we had breakfast, dinner, and supper. And supper time at our house when I was coming up was, well, basically, whatever you wanted that, that was already in the refrigerator that was cooked leftovers and so we weren't big supper people now if i'd had cheerleading practice or something like that mama would see if i wanted like a grilled cheese or a oh you know when i had braces most of the time i lived on vanilla milkshakes and chocolate milkshakes and she'd always put a raw egg in it and that was back before we thought milkshake uh, that chickens and eggs and everything was trying to kill us what happened why did we think? Why do we think now that they're trying to kill us? I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. So anyway, this is just me hanging out with y'all, fixing me a grilled cheese sandwich. If that's what I had a hankering for. And I like to use whatever cheese is on top in the refrigerator. Uh, Mother always used American cheese, and this is uh, sharp cheddar cheese. But I had a little thing. It was about yay big, and I thought, I'm going to use that up so it doesn't go bad. So that's what this is. So just your favorite cheese. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's just a sandwich, y'all. But you can use whatever, whatever kind of cheese that you like. You know, one thing that I have I have made, um, 
put some pulled pork, warmed it up, and put some pulled pork in my grilled cheese. And that's pretty good, all right. And you know, ham, you know, sandwich ham, that's pretty good, all right, too, in it. Or if you got some leftover roast beef, or if you got some uh, onions, uh, grilled onions, um, you know, some of those pickled onions are, are pretty good, too. But look at that. I didn't even attempt to do the cheese pull. I've been filming all day. <laughs> I just wanted a sandwich and talk to my buddies. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to go get me a glass of tea. Speaking of tea, you know, I told you, we, we weren't much on eating supper. But a lot of times, we would have popcorn and sweet tea. Mother had an air popper. And... I never did like that thing because it didn't taste as good as what she did on the iron skillet on the stove. But we like what we like, don't we? Alright, y'all. There's nothing better than that right there. Man, alive and living. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go wash the day off and put on my duster and kick my feet up go find something to watch on the TV. That's not the news. So, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all gonna do something fun. Tell me what y'all like on your grilled cheese.